Okay. All right, that's good. Do you see everything now? Okay. Hi, I don't know who's watching, but hi. Getting everything set up. We'll start in about 10 minutes. I am going to go wash my hands and then we'll be signing everybody in. I think we can see okay. All right, that's good. Getting rid of this. Just washing my hands. Just one. Okay, good. All right. I think I'm gonna. No. Don't want. Don't want us to run out of time. That seems to be happening more and more. can do here. I if I could. Maybe. Checking in, checking in, four minutes. Wish I could see who was here. Or edit these later, maybe. Okay, I can see. Oof. Every time I look at this, it's like wrinkle, wrinkle, wrinkle. All right.
see if I can. I wonder if I can pull this closer. Like, why am I so far away? I don't understand that. My brain thinking you know, that should be. Um, let's see. What if I come here? Is that better? Then you can't see me standing. Where can I go? This. Oh, I was there. Oh, right here. That is what it is. Put my earbuds in. And good. Ready. Okay. All right. Hey, if you're on YouTube, hi. I was checking my distance. I think we're okay. I might be. You might not see my head when I'm standing, but I think it'll be good. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign in over here onto Instagram, and then we will. Um, yeah, let's just do that. See who's here. Something on my screen, get that out of the way. I think we can see the whole mat. Maybe I'll do a little bit more there. Okay. Can we see that side of it? Perfect. All right. We have about five minutes. So see who pops out of here. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to wave to you. Don't recognize your name. Hi. Thank you guys for being here. I'm just kind of waiting for the next few minutes for us to get started, let people sign in. We'll start um, a little bit around five, maybe a couple minutes afterwards, somewhere around there. Um, so I'm just letting people sign up. Hi, welcome, waving to everybody. I don't right off the bat recognize all of the names, so I apologize for that, but thank you guys for being here. I'm here in the studio. I'm usually practicing from my home office, and today I decided to come to the studio, so I just wanted to be here. I miss being here so much so I just had to come here and let you guys see the space get a feeling for being in here we have one viewer on YouTube hi and if you don't know me I'm Monika I'm the owner here um, and the executive director and the founder for, of our nonprofit project create space if one of you guys who are watching if I have my airpods in so if you can just give me a thumbs up if you can hear me okay. I know um, on YouTube. Oh, we've had, hi, everybody. Um, look who it is. Hi. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Good. Hi, Laura. I'm at space. Do you have your mat? You're going you're gonna to practice with us today? I'm just kind of waiting a few minutes to get started. Hopefully we don't lose connection. I think the internet here is working. Oh, well, on YouTube we went from three to one, so there's that. Okay. And of course, when we start practicing, I'm gonna take off these glasses. So I won't really be able to see the screen. I'll see the screen. I won't see all the comments that are coming through. So I won't be able to respond to them, but 
hopefully this week, last week, my, um, hi, last week, my feed or my stream did not save to the feed. I don't really know why that happened. Um, but hopefully that doesn't happen today. Hopefully it'll go straight through and then save to the feed. But if you are joining us and it does not save to the feed for whatever reason, and you don't get to do the whole class, you can go over to our YouTube channel and you can see the class from today. And then also from all the other days, you can see it there. Hi, welcome. All right, I'm gonna take these glasses off. I'm gonna go back over to my mat. So if you're at home and you have your mat and you are ready to practice, you can go ahead and roll your mat out and I'm gonna go over there and we'll get started. I'm gonna scoop. I'm gonna sweep the floor too. <laughs> All right, so 459. So let me just tell you a little bit just to kind of get us started. Um, my body really needs some yoga today. So my name is Monique. If you don't know me, I'm the owner here at Space. Um, I'm also the founder and executive director of our nonprofit, which is called Project Create Space. And what we do in that nonprofit is we provide classes, no cost classes in the community to a variety of underserved populations. So we are everywhere from the VA hospital where we offer yoga classes for veterans with PTSD all the way to um, the Georgia Department of Corrections where we offer yoga for recovery classes for the men who are incarcerated there. So we're in the public school system, we're in a variety of um, alcohol, drug and alcohol rehabilitation centers, we do work with seniors. We are at the Georgia Cancer Center. So we're, we kind of are in a multitude of locations. And all of the donations that you guys offer us for these classes go straight to, to support that work. So thank you for joining me, for um, practicing with us, for showing up now for over a month, which is really crazy to believe. So um, what else do I want to say? It's so nice to be in the studio. You guys are in space right now. I have been teaching from my home office, but I decided today to come down to the studio and just being in the actual space is so comforting for me. So comforting, but also stressful. It's like super dirty. You guys can't see that, but it's like dusty. We've not been in here doing anything for a month. So um, it is, it is in need at the moment, and we will handle that later. That is not for today. So um, let's get started. It's 501, perfect. Um, and I'll just say it again, I said it earlier, but if you are on the Instagram live feed, and at any point it cuts off, or um, if it doesn't save, last week it did not save to the feed, it was probably my fault, but you know, whatever. Um, if at any point that happens, or if, it, if you kind of get lost in it, you can, totally cut off Instagram and you can go over to our YouTube channel. Hi, that's me waving to my computer, which is also set up on YouTube. And you can see not just today's class, but you can see all of our classes from previous days as well, or most of them. So there's quite a library at this point uh, there available for you. So if you wanted to practice with me for today's class, you can do that. You can also pick up some other different styles and try out some different teachers. So let's start in child's pose. So we're going to come into child pose today, taking the knees nice and wide, bringing the hips back to the heels. We're going to extend those arms forward, forehead's going to come down to the mat. As we start today's practice, we're going to take a nice, full, deep breath in through the nose. And a full, complete exhale from the mouth. Really letting that forehead come all the way down, pressing into the palms. Again, let's take a deep breath in. A full release out from the mouth. As you're taking those breaths, starting to let the body connect to the mat. Starting to take note of all the spaces of the body that need movement, the spaces of the body that need rest. Just really getting some information here. So you can use it as you make your way to practice, honoring that wisdom of the body. Starting to let all of that 
Grant it energy, settle down. As you connect to the mat, as you ground into the earth. Let's take one more deep breath in here. And full exhale out. And taking one more in breath. This time, as you breathe out, walking those hands all the way over to the right. You're going to take them over to the right, as far over as you can get them. Maybe taking this right hand and reaching back for that right heel. Starting to create some space over on the left side body. And as you breathe, letting that breath expand the ribs. And go ahead and walk your hands back through center. Exhale as you walk them all the way over to the left, bring that same breath into that right side, expanding the ribs, creating some space. Really actively pressing that right hip bone back towards the heels. And then using your next in-breath, walk the hands back to center. As you're inhaling here, come up to tabletop, slide the knees underneath the hips, wrists and elbows underneath the shoulders. We'll move through some cat and cow. So as you inhale here, let that belly open towards the mat. Take your gaze up, chest forward for cow. As you exhale, pull the navel back to the spine, round the back, take your gaze to the thighs. So you're really pressing into the hands here. These are alternating movements. We'll do this again. Inhale, open the belly, take your gaze up. Pow. Nice open belly, open chest. Exhale, navel to the spine, round the back. To cat. And then one last time, let's open that belly. Big breath in, exhale, round the back, press into the hands. And then finding a neutral spine here. From this tabletop, we're going to curl those toes under, press into the hands, lift the hips, and come all the way up and back into your first downward facing dog. From this first downward facing dog, we're going to pedal out the heels. So we're taking it nice and slow. We're still here. Warming up the body. So you're just being really gentle with the legs here, but keeping that tailbone nice and high, the back straight. Take a big full breath in. Lift those heels nice and high. And as you exhale, keep that belly linked to the spine. Press the heels towards the mat. So the heels don't have to touch here. We just want that action. You're going to inhale, lift up the heels, lift the tailbone. Exhale, knees soft, press the heels towards the mat. You're going to do that one more time. Lift the heels, lift the tailbone as you inhale. Exhale, heels towards the mat. Take a nice big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale forward, knees down. Exhale back, hips to the heels, find child's pose. Two breaths here. I like to take my hands to prayer position and bring the thumbs right to the nape of the neck for a little child's pose variation. Just prayer hands behind the head, letting the shoulders open slightly. And take one more breath here. Next, inhale. Let's come up to tabletop. From this tabletop position, you want to slide those knees back underneath the hips. We're going to take the gaze over to that right thumb. On the inhale here, we're going to start to slowly reach this right arm up. You're following that thumb with your gaze. So as the chest opens, the gaze moves up. On the exhale, slowly return that right hand down. We're going to slide it all the way through this left arm and leg, coming down to that right shoulder. So turn this way so you can see what it's like. This is called threading the needle. We're going to come all the way down. And then you're going to extend that left arm forward. So we're threading the needle here, maybe pressing that right arm into the mat. Little twist in the torso. Take one more breath here. 
And then slide that left hand back underneath the shoulder. Press up. You're again going to follow that thumb with your gaze. Reach that right arm up and open. Exhale, bring the right hand back underneath the shoulder. Shift your gaze over to that left hand. Left thumb. As you inhale, open the left arm. Same thing on the second side. Open the chest. Exhale, bring that left arm down. Slide it through the space between the right arm and leg. Come all the way down onto that left shoulder. Reach that right arm forward. So from here, threading needle on that second side. I can sort of see my screen here. I can't see all the names. I know my glasses on, but I see a lot of yellow hands. So I know that you guys are just joining us. And I want to say thank you for being here on Instagram. Go ahead and slide the right hand back under the shoulder, gaze to that left thumb. Slowly press up. Open the left arm. Follow that thumb with your face. All the way up. Exhale, bring the left hand back down to the mat. Left hand underneath the shoulder. As you inhale, again for cow, open that belly, gaze up. Exhale for cat, pull the belly to the spine, press into the hands. And then come back to your neutral spine. Keeping your knees stacked right up underneath the hips, you're just going to walk your hands forward here for puppy pose. So as your hands come forward, that chest is going to come down to the mat, maybe the chin, maybe the forehead. You're going to keep those hips stacked up. This is a very, very deep shoulder opener. So if it's too much for you, you can walk the hands back a little bit so you're not quite as far down onto the mat. You can place a block or another prop underneath the forehead. You're going to keep one more breath here. And then with the next inhale, keep the forearms where they are. Slide forward, bring those hips back down to the mat. Lift the chest forward for Sphinx pose. So as you come into the Sphinx pose, those elbows are going to stack right underneath the shoulders. Hip points are going to anchor into the mat. I'm sliding around a little bit on the mat. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Put just a little bit of pressure into those forearms so you can really lift that chest. We're just going to take a breath here. Anchoring those hip points down. From the space pose, we're going to curl those toes under. On the next inhale, we're going to slightly press into the forearms, lift the hips, and come up into a low plank. So as you make your way into this low plank, make sure those ears are lined up with the shoulders, gaze down the mat. Hugging that belly back to the spine. Nice, long, straight line in the body. And then from here, we're going to press up to our regular plank. So lifting the forearms from the mat, coming up to the hands. Take a breath here. And then lift the hips and press back to downward facing dog. Nice, full deep breath in. Exhale it out. From our downward facing dog here, we're going to bring the feet together at the back of the mat, and we're going to lift this right leg. As the right leg comes up, you're going to bend that right knee, start to press that right foot open. Hi. Take the right foot down. Same thing on the second side, open that left leg, bend the left knee. I actually like to straighten and bend this lifted leg. Go ahead and return that left foot down to the mat. Take a nice big deep breath in, knees bent if you need to. Exhale it out. And then step the feet wide on the mat. Walk the hands back to the feet, come up for a halfway lift. Nice straight spine, that tailbone's going to press back. Crown of the head's going to press forward. You can take your hands to your thighs or to your shins. Just want that nice long spine, breathing here. Knees are soft. Next exhale, we're going to bend the knees, sink the hips, take the elbows to the insides of the knees, coming down for yogi squat. As you come into this yogi squat, it's a very deep squat. It's also extremely functional. 
So as you come down, you may notice that those heels are lifting away from the mat. If that starts to happen for you, take your feet a little bit wider. So not wider front to back, but wider side to side, maybe even to the outer edges of your mat. A little bit of pressure between the elbows and the knees, gonna lengthen up that spine. Just breathing here. It's one of my favorite poses. You can place a block or maybe some books or a support underneath the sit bones if that's comfortable for you. We're gonna take one more inhale. On the exhale, bring the hands down to the mat, straighten the knees, lift the hips, coming into a wide line forward fold, reaching through the elbows. I like to sway from side to side, that's an option. You can just stay here at center. But you want to make sure those knees are not locked. So if you notice your knees are pressing back towards the back of your mat, let them soften. Put the torso, release here. One more breath. Inhale, lift the spine, straight spine, ears in line with the shoulders. Exhale, bend the knees, sink the hips to yoga squat. Two breaths here. Release the hands, lift the hips, forward fold, and then slowly start to walk those hands forward, finding your way back into downward facing dog. You can come back in line with the hips. Nice big deep breath in. Full exhale out. Inhale, lifting just the right leg, same as we did before. Now, I should lift this right leg. I'm peeking under my arm here, high, but you don't want there to be a twist in the torso. So if you notice that torso is super twisting, bring that center, that weight back to center. Keep that right leg lifted. On an exhale, hug that right knee towards the chest. We're going to shift forward and place that right foot to the outside of the right hand. I can still, I'm trying to <laughs> scoot here to you guys can see. So that right hand is going to be to the outside of the right, sorry, right foot to the outside of the right hand for lizard pose. If you like, you can take that back knee down to the mat. What matters here is that there's a nice straight line down the center of the body from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet to the sole of the foot. And that front knee is going to be active pressing into that front arm. So if you notice it drifting out, falling towards the mat, bring it back to center. Stay with your breath here. You can come up to your fists if the wrists are bothering you with this. Hi. Just one more breath. And then from here, if that back knee is lifted, go ahead and bring it down to your mat. Shimmy that front foot to center. Take the hands to the right hand to the outside of the right foot. Keep that nice deep bend in the front knee and then lift the chest and make your way into low lunge. You can readjust your feet if you need to. I like to kind of move in and out of this posture, just really pressing forward, giving my hips the time to open. So you can take your time with that as well. We're going to bring the hands to the front knee just for a little bit of support. We don't want to lean into it. We don't want to put weight and lift that shoulder. We want to keep the chest lifting forward. So really pressing into that front leg. And then if you like, you can also reach those arms up. So one more breath here. With the exhale, take the hands down to the mat, straighten that front knee, send the hips back to the heel, lower the chest towards that front thigh. I like to point and flex my foot, my front foot in this posture. It's a nice little um, shift and stretch. From here, let's take that right foot down, sink the hips forward, stack that right knee. Inhale, reach the arms up just for one breath. Exhale, take the hands back down to the mat. 
That front knee or the front foot's gonna stay right where it is. We're gonna keep that back foot curl or curl the toes under if it's not curled. From here, we're gonna lift that back knee and then we're gonna step that back foot in about halfway on the mat. On the inhale, we're gonna lift the spine. That front knee is gonna stay soft. On the exhale, we're gonna fold over that right leg. Coming into pyramid pose. So hot in here, you guys. <clears throat> you can shake your head yes and no here. A little bit of release in the neck. Keeping that spine straight. Take one more breath here. And then let's inhale that left foot forward to meet the right. Come up for a halfway lift. Those feet are hip distance apart. Exhale, fold over the legs, reach for the elbows. Same fold that we did before, with the feet a little bit closer. Let's take a breath here. And then go ahead and release those hands. Really press those feet into the mat. On the inhale, let's come all the way up. Reach up. Nice, strong mountain. Reach the arms up. Exhale, take the hands down to the heart. We're going to take three breaths here in this mountain pose. Feet planted firmly on the mat, core braced up. Checking in with that right side of the body. I'm going to check in with you guys. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Hi, Katie. Let's take one more breath. And then we're going to get moving on that left side. Let's inhale, reach up. On the exhale, hinge the hips, forward fold. Inhale, lift the spine halfway. We're reversing out of this. From here, keep those knees nice and soft. Take the hands down to the mat. We're going to reverse that sequence. And we're going to take this right foot and step it back about halfway into our pyramid pose, making our way in reverse through the postures that we just went. So from here, let's inhale, lift the spine. Make sure that left knee is soft. Exhale, fold over that left leg. I'm gonna reverse my position in here. If you have support to place under the hands, you can place supports under the hands. You know, let that neck release. Maybe shake the head yes and no. We'll take one more breath here. On the inhale, let's lift the spine halfway. Slide in into that left knee. We're going to step that right foot back a little bit further and then bring that right knee down to the mat, lifting up into our low lunge. Remember, you can place those hands on that front knee. You can reach the arms up if that's the variation that you'd like to take today. You can keep the hands on the hips. That's another option. Hands to the heart. Really focusing on your stability. So curling those back toes under if you need that support. Stacking that front knee over the ankle. You can go in and out of it here with your breath. Let's take one more inhale here. Exhale, take the hands down to the mat. Straighten that left knee, hips back towards that right heel, coming into that half split. This is half split, tell your friends. You did a split today. Again, you can point and flex that front foot. That's an option. That's something that I really enjoy doing, but that's just an option, a little variation on this posture. And then let's take that left foot back down, come forward, stack the left knee over the ankle. Reach the arms up. Just one breath here in this little lunge. With the next exhale, we're going to bring those hands down to the mat. Shimmy that left foot now out to the side. Bring the left hand to the inside of the left leg, setting up for pyramid pose. I'm sorry, lizard high, lizard pose. Curling those right toes, lifting that right knee. If you'd like, that's an option. 
Again, you have those options come up to the fists. If you like to take it a little further, you can come down to the forearms. Now, if you come down to the forearms, you want to make sure the back stays straight. <laughs> if you come down to the forearms, make sure the back stays straight. That's turning around and lost on place. Sorry, guys. So we don't want to bump it up. If coming down to your forearms means that you lose integrity in the posture, come back up to the arms. All four corners of that front foot pressing into the mat. Take one more breath. From here, scoot that left foot out just slightly. Step it back. Find your plank. Breathe in. Exhale, lift the hips to downward facing dog. Take a big breath in here. Exhale, take the knees down. Nice and wide. Hips to the heels. Find child's pose. As you're in this child's pose, checking in with both sides, right side and the left. Just checking in with the breath. Let's take a nice full breath in here. Full exhale from the mouth. Inhale, lifting the chest, coming forward, knees sliding under the hips. Exhale, curl those toes, lift the hips. Down facing dog, big full breath in. Exhale it out, heels towards the mat. Inhale, step forward, lift halfway. Exhale and fold. Inhale to mountain, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart, closing the eyes here. If you have blocks or any kind of props in home, go ahead and grab those. I have so much, so I really want to grab them for myself. Here they are, plops. And I'm just gonna set them here. We're going to use them to go through a couple of postures. So, from this mountain pose, we're going to inhale, big breath in. Exhale, bring the hands down through heart center, take them to the hips. We're going to start the hips for stability. You can change or move the hand placement if you like. From this mountain pose, hands on the hips, we're going to take this right foot and slide it straight back, finding a high crescent lunge. Now, as you come into your high crescent lunge, that left knee is going to stack right over the ankle. And that back heel, you might see my back heel here is drifting towards the mat. We want to lift it up. So we're going to keep pressing that back heel up towards the sky. This is the full version of that low lunge that we did previously. Let's inhale the arms up. We go through just a couple of postures here. On the exhale, we're going to open out to warrior two. So a little different transition there. You might be used to a warrior one, warrior two transition. We are doing a crescent lunge to warrior two transition. So I find that a little bit more functional for my own body. So from your warrior two, let those shoulders relax. You can turn the palms up if you like. Let the shoulders really settle down towards the back. Turn those palms back up. On the inhale, straighten that front knee. Reach the arms up overhead. Gaze to the hands. Exhale, bend the front knee, warrior two. So we're just getting the body ready here. Let's inhale, come up. Gaze to the hand, straighten the front knee. Exhale, warrior two. Last time here, we're gonna inhale and come up. That front knee is straight, the back knee is straight. Take your hands to warrior two, knees are straight. Hinging at your left hip, start to reach that left hand forward so you can't reach it anymore. Once you reach it as far as you can, bring it down to your mat. You can use a block here. This is my block. Place a block underneath the hands. Reach that right arm up and find your triangle pose. Now, if you're doing this and that front knee is starting to stretch, keep the front knee bent, even if it has to be very dramatically bent. You want to keep weight out of the block, stacking the shoulders for your triangle pose, pressing actively into both feet, 
and actively reaching through that top hand. Take one more breath here. Left knee is soft. We're going to come back up to center. As we come up to center, we're going to bend the left knee, warrior two. And from this warrior two, take that left elbow down to the left knee. Reach the right arm up and over for extended side angle. If you have that block there, you can also place your hand on the block. You're in warrior two legs here. Keep reaching and extending. The hand can stay or the elbow can stay on that left knee. Reach, reach, reach. Take one more breath here. From here, come back up to your warrior two. Inhale, reach the arms up, straighten the left leg. Bring those left toes in line with the right toes. So if you can see, all 10 of my toes are facing forward. I'm gonna take a big breath in, hands on the hips. And then I'm gonna exhale, forward fold and do a wide-legged fold. You can reach your elbows here. Maybe shake the head, yes and no. If you're an advanced practitioner, this is a really fantastic way to get into headstand. I know if you practice with me, you're dying inside because I said that, but also it is. <laughs> so there's that. I don't typically teach headstand or many advanced postures, but just that way. Let's inhale, come up halfway. Take the hands to the hips. We're going to come all the way back. From this wide leg position, those right toes are going to turn towards the short end of the mat. Bend that right knee. Warrior two. Same things on that second side here. Right knee stacked up over the ankle, pressing into the blade edge of that left foot. Wide, strong stance here in your warrior two. Inhale, straighten the right knee, reach the arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Strong legs, inhale, come up. Exhale, warrior two. Last time, let's inhale, come up. Keep both knees straight, warrior two arms. Start to reach, 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 reach. As far as you can, take that right hand down to the mat or to your block. Reach the left arm up. Find your triangle pose. Really stay with your breath, keeping that front knee soft. You want to lock it out. Tiny micro bend in that right knee. One more breath here. And let's inhale, come back up. Walk my balance. Bend that front knee, warrior two. Right elbow coming down to the right knee. Reach the left arm up and over for extended side angle. Again, you have that block. You can place your hand on the block if you like. But what we want to look for is a nice straight line on that left side. Down through the blade edge of that left foot all the way out through that left arm. Long angle on that left side. I like to turn the palm of the front hand up, just as a little reminder that I'm not dipping and falling into that front knee. So let's take one more breath here. And then let's inhale and come back up to warrior two. Take your hands to your hips. From this warrior two, we're gonna pivot and rotate forward to crescent lunge. You can see my back heel lifted. That front knee is over the ankle. Staying with the breath here, hands on the hips. Bring the hands up if you like, it's your choice. And take one more breath, reversing how we came into it. Step the left foot forward to meet the right. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Ooh, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant the hands on the mat. Bend the knees as much as you need to. We're going to step it straight back to plank. Strong plank. <laughs> Keep the um, ears lined up with the shoulders. Nice big breath in. Exhale, keep the elbows tucked into the ribs, come down. Inhale, lift the chest. As that chest lifts, slide the forearms forward and find your space right back where we started in that space pose. Checking in, pressing the heart forward, pressing the hips to the mat. 
Really anchor those hip points, anchor them into the mat. It's so warm in here. <laughs> Take one more breath up here. On your exhale, lower the forehead down to the mat. Slide your hands under the shoulders. Curl the toes. Inhale, press up to plank. Lift the hips back to downward facing dog. Nice big deep breath in. Exhale it out. Feet together just as we did in the beginning. Let's lift that right leg, open the hip. Exhale, hug it to the chest. Shift forward, come all the way forward. Place that right knee down to the mat behind the right wrist. As it comes down to that right wrist, turn the right leg so the right foot is moving towards the left wrist and start to slide that left foot back. As you slide that foot back, inhale the chest forward, heart forward. Nice strong pigeon. We're moving into a more relaxed pigeon. We're just gonna breathe here for a minute. Really feeling through this pigeon. Take one more breath. And then here on the exhale, let's walk the hands forward, lower that forehead towards the mat. As you come into this pigeon pose, if you need a little bit of assistance, you can place the block underneath that back sit bone, or you can bring the block underneath the chest. It's one of my favorite variations. A little bit of support under the chest. Watch all this hair. We're gonna take three breaths here. The next inhale, let's lift the chest. Find that nice high pigeon again. So strong arms coming up, chest forward. Move that block out of the way if you need to. Take your hands back down to the mat. Curl those left toes under. Shift forward. We're going to lift. Curl the left toes under. Lift the right knee up. Press the back. Open the right hip. Reverse how we came in. Exhale, right knee to the mat. Sorry, right foot to the mat. And I'm off today. Inhale, lift that left leg, then left knee. Nice open hip. Exhale, left knee to the chest, shift it forward. Place it down on the mat, behind the left wrist. Left foot towards the right wrist, slide the right foot back. Inhale, chest forward, strong pigeon. I love a pigeon, but I really, really love a, a nice, high, strong, active pigeon. It's great as a release pose, but it is also really great as an active posture. Let's exhale, walk those hands forward, find the support if you need it, and come all the way down, making your way into that low, relaxed pigeon pose. Welcome to everybody who's been here, who's made their way into the practice. If we cut off at any point, I'll just remind you that we're also on YouTube. We're streaming right now. You can pop into that, even from your television, actually, or you can check out this class later today or tomorrow. They stay on the feed, so. Let's take one more breath here. And then just like you came, into it, we're going to come out of it. Let's inhale, lift the chest, find your strong pigeon. Take those hands forward, curl the right toes, shift it just slightly, press up, left knee to the chest, lift it up and, up and back, open the left hip, left foot down to the mat. Take a nice big deep breath in, exhale, take the knees down, take the seat back towards the hips into hero pose. So if this is too much for you, you can curl those toes under, so you're sitting up a little bit higher, or you can place the support underneath your sit bones. We're gonna sit here and just find some length in the spine in this hero pose. Nice big breath in. Nice full exhale out. Just check in here.
Release the hands on either side of the hips. Let's inhale, reach the arms up. On the exhale here, we're going to twist to the right. Taking that right hand back behind the body, the left hand across the chest, over to the outside of that right knee. So I like to do this in hero pose because of my arms are a little bit proportionately <laughs> unique to my body. But if this is uncomfortable for you, you can come down into a basic easy pose, just a simple seated position on your mat. Really thinking about that long center line and rotating the muscles of the torso around. Let's inhale, come back to center. On the exhale, we're going to twist to the left. Nice straight spine. Active twist here. Those muscles in the torso really working. Those obliques. Creating the twist here. And then let's inhale and unwind it to center. Arms up. Exhale, bring the hands forward. Come up to tabletop for just a moment. Take your legs over to the side. Take a seat. Extend those legs straight forward on the mat. Finding your sit bones, you can kind of wiggle from side to side. Take the hands alongside the hips. Take a breath here. This is staff pose. From staff pose, let's inhale, reach the arms up. On the exhale, hinge at the hips, fold, reach for the feet. So you do not have to touch your feet here. This is not a requirement. You can take your hands to the sides of the legs or maybe down to the mat behind the knees. You have some options. If you can reach those feet, go ahead and reach for the feet. And I would just like to say right now that I feel very, very blessed because my stomach has grown over this quarantine because I've had a lot of snacks. And that makes me feel grateful for the fact that I have food and the ability to purchase food. And it makes me think of all the people who do not and all the love and light that I hope to send to those people. Hmm. Let's take one more breath. Grateful for food. And let's inhale, reach up. Slide that right foot in towards the bottom, hugging the right knee towards the chest so that the sole of that right foot is planted firmly on the mat. And we're gonna take this left hand, wrap it around that right knee, take the right hand back behind you, and just take your gaze over that right shoulder. So this is a little seated twist. Right foot is planted. The left foot can be flexed or relaxed, it's fine. But think about that straight line through the spine. So really rotating with the hips squared. And then let's inhale, unwind to center, switch sides. Let's extend that right leg. Bring that left foot in, left foot coming straight down to the mat. Right hand's gonna wrap around the left knee. Left hand's gonna come back behind the body. And then let's gently unwind to center. Extend that left leg one more time. We're gonna fold forward. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hug the belly back, into the hips, fold forward. Take a moment in gratitude. I like to rock from side to side here. And then let's inhale, lift the chest. As that chest comes up, we're going to slide these feet in towards the bottom. Both feet together, so the knees are going to hug in towards the chest. We're going to hug them in a little bit tighter than we did before. Keep the back straight, rock back into the sit bones. And then if you can, if it's accessible for you today, go ahead and lift the feet away from the mat. Now, if this is where you'd like to stay today, you're welcome to do that. You can stay here in your boat pose. You have some other options for boat, taking those shins parallel to the mat. Arms can release alongside the legs, making sure that back stays straight. So if you notice that you start rounding down, draw the shoulders back, chest presses forward, maybe you can extend the legs straight. That's your final option here in boat pose. Really use those hip flexors, use that belly, take one more breath. And then from here, let's bend the knees if they're straight, hug the knees in nice and tight, gently roll back onto the back. Knees hugging into the chest, let's rock from side to side. Starting to 
Settle down, settle the breath and the body. Circle the knees over the hips. Check in with that low back. Reverse the circles. From here, reach the hands through the knees to the outer edges of the feet. Bring the soles of the feet together. Let those knees come out to the side. This is a little butterfly on the back. Now, as you're doing this, you might feel the tendency that to roll up with your chest and your neck, but you want to relax that chest and neck. Use those lower abdominals, so curling with the lower abdominals towards the chest. And of course, if reaching the feet is just not happening for you today, you can hold on to the knees or behind the thighs. You want that chest and that neck relaxed, shoulder blades pressing into the mat. From here, we're going to keep the hands on the feet, rotate those knees in line with the armpits, shins parallel onto the other feet parallel to the ceiling for happy baby. You can rock from side to side here, keeping those feet flat and straight. And then let's come back to center, feet together, come back to that reclined butterfly position. It's really one of my favorites. And then let's release the feet, hug the knees into the chest, take a big breath in. As you exhale, take both knees over to the right. So those knees are gonna come down to the right. Once they're down onto the mat, we're gonna adjust the shoulders, Push both of the shoulder blades all the way down on the mat, take the arms out to a T. Take a full deep inhale. As you exhale, let that gaze shift over the left shoulder. We're starting to prepare the mind and the body to move into Shavasana, into our final resting pose. So from here in this posture, let all of that work go. Let the full weight of your body settle to the mat. Let gravity do the work for you here. Take one more breath. And then we're going to inhale and bring those knees up to center. Same thing on that second side. Those knees are going to come over to the right, all the way down to the mat. I'm sorry, they're coming to the left. I'm sorry, you guys. Shoulder blades readjusting. Arms out nice and wide. Take your gaze over that right shoulder. Right. Knees are over to the left. Gaze is over to the right. Or at center, that's fine too. <clears throat> Let me just take three breaths here. <clears throat> One more breath. On your inhale, bring those knees up to center. Take the feet down to the mat. Slide both legs straight forward onto your mat. Reach the arms overhead. Stretch your full body, your fingertips to toe tips. Long, long body. Reach, reach, reach. And with an exhale, relax the body, float those arms overhead, and rest them down alongside the hips. We're moving here into our final resting posture. This is the posture that we complete every yoga class with. So you may be there at home on your mat. I will monitor the time here. So before we move completely into this final resting pose, let's go ahead and take a full deep inhale through your nose. Notice that tension that starts to build in your body as you breathe in, and then exhale from your mouth, releasing that breath and that tension completely. We're gonna do that together one more time. Let's take a full deep breath in. Let that tension build. Exhale from the mouth, release it completely. Let your eyes close here. Let all of the muscles of your body become soft. Your bones become heavy, your mind easy. Shavasana is a posture of surrender. 
It's a posture of letting go. So as you are lying here, see if you can embody that spirit of surrender. You can bring that feeling of surrender into this physical space of your body. If you notice thoughts not moving through the mind or if you notice the need for movement, just observe it. Become an observer to yourself. We'll be here for about three minutes. And just keeping your body here in stillness, start to take a deep breath in through your nose. Let that breath re-enter the space of the body. As the breath re-enters the body, let it travel out into your fingers and your toes, creating some movement, gently awakening the body. And with your next inhale, reach those arms back overhead. Take a full stretch here, fingertips to toe tips. On your exhale, release that stretch and carefully make your way up to a seat. As you come into your seat, let your sit bones connect to the mat. Let your spine lengthen up towards the sky. With your next in-breath, reach those arms up overhead. Take the gaze up to the hands. On your exhale, bring the hands down to the heart. Tuck the chin towards the chest. Take just a moment here. I like to finish all of my classes with a little time for gratitude. So just in your mind here, acknowledging someone or something that you have in your life to be grateful for. Acknowledging also yourself, your strong body, your ability to show up, all the work that you do. Bringing your thumbs to your forehead center, take a moment to acknowledge the space in your body that brings you wisdom, intuition, and informs your movements in the world. And together, even from a distance, taking a nice full deep breath in and a full breath out from your mouth. Today, as in all of the days, I am so grateful for you being here, for sharing this practice with me, for trusting me and all of the teachers here at Space to lead you in this practice, for being who you are, for being part of this community, and for supporting Space now more than ever. The light in me sees, even through this computer screen, and honors the lights in each of you. Namaste. Okay, thank you guys so much for being here. I'm gonna scoot over to the screen and see who we have here. Hi, everybody, hi. If you missed um, the whole the whole class, hi. I'm, I wanna hit wave to everybody. Hi, 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 hi. Um, if you missed, the whole class. You can catch it 
on the feed again here or also on YouTube. Hi, everyone on YouTube and in that stream as well there. Um, end it. Um, but